Good evening, everyone, if it's evening in your time zone. And here is, uh, I think, my last video, at least uh, in the next near future, about index match, um, how we could use it with multiple conditions um, and in a big data set. And again, uh, here I'm showing an example of two conditions, but you could go uh, for as many conditions as you would like. Um, again, as long as it's efficient and working for you. Um, to track the formula, but um, I'm showing two of you could go three, four, five, and so on. And so, like I showed before, you know, previously we wanted to show the season name based on the number, uh, you know, show if it's winter, summer, spring, and so on. Now, uh, in this example, let's say I want to show the season name and the year. So, I created a new map. Um, I'm keeping it in a different tab and you can see this is my mapping. So in case of season one and if the year is 2012, then we want to show um, the name and year winter 2012. So this will show us, uh, this will help us, you know, maybe organize the data in a simple manner of seeing a growth uh, year over year and seeing the trend. Uh, so let's go back uh, to our main uh, data set. So here I will create a new column called season name and year. And how we will do index match with multiple criteria. So again, index is asking us, uh, you know, what, uh, what do we want to look up? What information do we want to retrieve? So I'm going to my map. And um, when the list gets a little long, so I usually recommend to mark the full column. And then, you know, if I add more conditions and more criteria here, um, it will know to search for them right away. Uh, I'll do a four and then match, open parentheses. Now in index match with multiple criteria, uh, the formula is a bit different uh, from the regular index match. Um, we need to put a one to indicate that we're going to now choose several criteria um, in between the comma areas, and this is how um, you need to write it. So you open the first parentheses, and this is our first condition. So we want to check when the year here is equal to um, the year in our original data set, so the year column here. Um, so in case of tw uh, 2011, it should give us a look up that year. And then our second uh, condition, we need to put a multiplication um, uh, between the parentheses and open a new parentheses and go to our mapping table and then choose the season number. We'll need to equal uh, this season number right here and close parentheses. And we want a perfect match, so we'll put a zero, close parentheses, and enter. And now you could see um, it simply pulled the name winter 2011 because I have the number one here and I have the year 2011. And if I scroll down along the data set, here I have spring and in 2012. So again, based on the year column and the season column, and how I mapped, then it gave me the spring name. Now, um, how we would use it, right, is again, to show and present our data in a more uh, sexy sexy way and more attractive way. So we have the season and the year, and we can add now the values, the number of bikes rented um, each year and see uh, you know, what were the differences between each year? Um, moment. What were the difference, right? The percentage growth between each season. So 2012 on top of uh, 2011 fall. Let's see. And this is the percentage. And this we don't want to compare, not bad. Yeah, so we could see yeah, overall, you know, the company grew um, and between between each season actually, right? And like here we could see something very interesting. 
2012 in the winter, all of a sudden we had 128% growth. So again, this uh, mapping helps us organize the, the data in a better way that we want to present it and use it um, and group to different categories. Great, so let me know if you have any feedbacks or further questions. Um, again, this we reviewed index match with multiple criteria. I think it's a very good formula to know and uh, I find it very, very useful. Thank you.